So you bring an elephant and she know how to deal with an elephant. A hippo, she got it. She knows. You know, for a minute I thought to myself, maybe I shouldn't sell these babies. And you know, I, I, no, no thank you. I just did not need to know that. It was over 30 minutes and this person continued to talk about, I don't want to say inappropriate things, but awkward things. Okay, like, really? I just talked about another Facebook drama in my previous video, but since I'm sitting here, I'm going to share with you one of them, I don't even know what to call it, but you get this kind of people every once in a while. If you sell enough goats, you'll know, okay? So please, 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 please <laughs> share with me in the comments down below what it's been that one experience with somebody that purchased a goat from you that you cannot forget. It's like engraved in your brain and you're like, I'm so happy they're gone. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to try to be vague, okay? Because I don't want this person to feel bad about this. And I don't know if they'll ever watch this video, but I'm going to tell you the story because I just cannot believe it. Okay, there was this person that contacted me about buying two goats from me. And uh, I always do, um, I have a PDF saved on my computer. If they're does, the you know, how you take care of does, and if they're weathers, especially weathers, uh, if they're does, some people already own goats, so they do know what they need, but if they are um, new to goats, I like to give them this PDF where, and I'll print it in color, I'll put, I'll try to put a little, a little something over this part of the video so you can see what I do but I basically put the minerals that I buy for the weathers in particular that I think it's the best and that it works for me I share the selenium that they have to buy so they can give it once a month I share you know the mineral feeder because sometimes they buy the minerals and they don't know where to put it and like there's some this very this very inexpensive mineral feeders I think they're four dollars or something so I put the picture of that so they know how to you know it's attached to a wall so they can have a better idea and then in the last page what I do you know I put the date of birth of the baby I even put a picture of the babies that I'm selling and so it's like if I need to remind myself of something it's there okay everyone that I've given this to has been really appreciative and they're like oh my gosh thank you so much and then um, there's this people so this person contacts me and again I'm gonna be very vague because I don't want to offend anybody uh, this person comes um, it comes during I think it was a weekend or something this person comes and they get here, picked up the animals, and um, would not stop talking, like about something completely random. And a bad experience she had with an animal that was doing something to a part of her body. I give myself away. Yeah, it was, a, it was a lady. So this lady comes and says, you know, tries to share this whole thing with me. And it's really hard to find, like, conversation with uh, somebody that buys a goat from you. And um, that is not really goat related. I don't know. You tell me. When people go to your house to pick up the goats, do you talk about random experiences you had in life? Um, like, I remember when I went to pick up my girls from Arisha, like, we did talk about a bunch of things, but we saw each other, I think, in three different occasions. Like, the first day that we went to meet the girls and we decided we wanted them. The second time we were up there, we did the deposit. The third time we went to pick up the girls. I mean, it was kind of an ongoing thing and we liked each other. I followed their videos. We had lots of things to talk about. But this person did not follow my channel, did not even know I had a channel. And, okay, so, 
awkward conversation, you know. And then <laughs> all of a sudden, um, you know, I'm trying to get to the point. I'm trying to show you. This was during the weekend. I was cooking inside. The whole interaction with a new buyer, from the time they come here, they see the goats, they play with the goats and the whole thing, it's no more than 30 minutes. It was, it was over 30 minutes and this person continued to talk about, I don't want to say inappropriate things, but awkward things, like really, really awkward things. And there was more than one person that came and I just felt so so out of place and so I almost wanted to go inside and say to my husband just come with me because I feel like I'm being violated okay I'm exaggerating but it was awkward okay I don't talk about things like that with people I don't I don't talk about that stuff with people I know I mean I'm kind of weird about the kind of things that we talk you want to talk about the garden we can talk about that for like a couple hours you want to talk about goats we can talk about goats for half a day but that particular experience that somehow I, I, no no thank you I just did not need to know that so anyway this person <laughs> continues to talk and talk and talk so I'm just like okay I pick up the babies I put one in one's arms and the other ones in the other's arms and they one of them was being annoyed by the babies. Um, well, I think both of them were pretty annoyed with something that the babies were doing. The babies like to go and jump on you. But they're tiny, okay? They're in Nigeria, so even though they're four months old, they're not huge. And, you know, they're not really hurting you. But I do get it. It's annoying. But it was very... The, per, the person was very vocal about it. And so I started feeling like, oh my god. Are, you know, are my goats really this annoying and other people don't tell me this? I mean, is this something that people hate? Um, and sometimes I even have the goats here in the front. So when they come, they can put them in the truck and just we will do the whole deal right here in my picnic area. But some people, even when I have the goats right here, they just want to go back and look at the other goats which is okay with me. I just try to make it easier for them. So I started thinking, you know, all this was happening. I was thinking, are they, are they being annoying? Are my goats being annoying? And, you know, I was kind of spacing out and not listening to the whole conversation. So since they're being annoying, I opened the gate and I'm like, okay, let's go over there and I'll give you some information and a receipt for your payment. And then the person says, yes, and I'll pay you. Um, then we're here and all of a sudden this random conversation comes up again. Almost like when you're proud of something and you just want to talk about that. And I was feeling so, so out of place. So out of place and so uncomfortable that... My husband opened the door and he could see how uncomfortable I was. And so he steps out and he waves at the people. And I'm like, okay, I'll be right there because I have a pot in the stove, on the stove. It continues. And there's a spider on my camera. It continues the conversation. So at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm going to cut this with a PDF print out that I have I'm gonna give it to this person and this person grabs the PDF and goes like this granted it was inside a vehicle so I was like so I <laughs> okay again I'm feeling self-conscious by now so I I asked this person um, have you had goats before like okay maybe you're a pro and I'm just insulting you with this uh, but even if I was a pro and somebody was giving me information I'd say thank you and move on okay I'll, I'll go through it thank you so much that's it oh, that's all I had to do 
to get out of that awkward conversation where I, I'd explain to a person, which I would never do, oh, I'm a pro at this, so I don't need your... <laughs> so that's, that happened. And then, proceeds to tell me, this person proceeds to tell me that, um, no, I'm not gonna say what she said specifically, but, this person said something like um, she knew exactly how to deal with every animal in the world, basically. Uh, so you bring an elephant and she know how to deal with an elephant. A hippo, she got it. She knows. Uh, so for the la last 10 minutes of our interaction, she proceeded to um, tell me how much experience this person has with every kind of animal in the animal kingdom. I'm just an idiot, but they know better. So at that point, I started thinking, you know, should I even sell these goats to this person? I mean, they were already inside the vehicle. Uh, and in the vehicle, there were other people very excited about the goats. And I think that it hurt my feelings. And that's why I was so annoyed by the whole situation. And I think that I'm very, like... I'm very much an introvert. Even though I'm very social, I'm, I'm an introvert. Like... I can be with in a full room of people, but I need to come home and be quiet. Like, I need nobody to talk to me. I'm going to go into my room, I'm going to grab a book, and I'm going to recharge my batteries. I am an introvert. So it's very hard for me to relate to somebody immediately and talk about the kind of thing that this person was telling me. And now, I feel like I'm making it sound horrible, um, but just... Just to give you a something, it involved, I don't want to say it was sexual, but it was like, <laughs> God. so anyways, that is kind of the whole thing. So in the end, I started feeling bad because I don't know if I want my goats to move with these people, you know, but who am I to say that this person we're not gonna I mean that she's not an amazing goat keeper okay I don't know that and just because I don't like a person doesn't mean that I'm not that I, <laughs> that I shouldn't sell a goat to them okay just because I get my little feelings hurt doesn't mean that they're bad people you know what I'm saying and you know I went inside okay at the end I had to be kind of like um okay have a great afternoon it was really nice meeting you um, I'm gonna go finish dinner and uh, I said it four times and the conversation continued to happen a one-way conversation mind you because I'm there listening to the conversation I'm not talking so I just uh, no my sweet care okay go oh, hello baby Hello puppy. Hello puppy. Sometimes I'm afraid to grab him because he'll have a mouse in his mouth. He loves to play with his food before he eats it. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, sayonara, my friend. You're weird. He's hunting something. Likely. Around here. Anyway, so the, the, the there's no moral of the story, really. There isn't. But the one thing I try to make myself understand, and this is what my husband said, just because they're not nice people to you doesn't mean that they're going to be bad goat owners. And in the end, we're not going to be friends. We're not going to visit. We're not going to have a relationship. We're not going to have any kind of uh, friendship worth, you know, thinking about or even considering because we're just very different people. That's all what I'm going to say. But I felt like 
you know, for a minute, I thought to myself, maybe I shouldn't sell these babies. And, you know, when I give them the paper, I, you know, there is a stipulation that I reserve the right to not, you know, to change my mind. But who am I to really judge the character of somebody? I'm nobody. And I understand that different people are, will have different ways of dealing with things and, and sharing things and being social. And not everyone needs to be like me, you know? Not everyone needs to like the same thing. So I do get it. And I'm sure she she wanted to share that experience because for her it was important or relevant or interesting. And that's pretty much it. So um, the funny thing is, and I'm going to say, I'm not going to say what this person asks, but um, <laughs> the next day I get a text message that said something like is this normal you know and yes it was normal and um, so they they had no idea really what they were talking about so and it was something very simple and again I'm just not not trying to give away because I've had wonderful wonderful people buying goats that we could talk about things for hours but we didn't and it's just a common card courtesy, I guess, to read the room. But this person really did not want to read the room. So that was my most awkward selling goat experience. Uh, my, the most awkward customer I've ever had. And I feel like when you sell animals, when you are a breeder, and you appreciate your animals, you take care of them, you spend your money, your time, 24 hours a day, because, okay, listen, keeping goats is a 24 hour a day deal, okay? You're always thinking about feeding them, you're always thinking about milking them, you're always thinking about, are you sad or are you sick? Is your poop a berry or is it, you know, being a breeder really, if, if you are the kind of breeder like that, that cares, it's a full-time job and so you care about the animals that leave your farm I do anyways I do anyways so you know liking people has nothing to do with the kind of life that those goats are gonna have uh, they were gonna have a lot of room they were gonna have lots of acres to eat to be free to you know munch on whatever they wanted and I think in the end it was gonna be a good life for them it's just me in my own little soapbox that sometimes feel like I'm inviting a stranger to my home I don't invite people to my home unless we're super friends not because I'm ashamed of anything really I'm not but because I am very private like I do appreciate my being living in the middle of nowhere situation not having really close neighbors not having to interact with people having my little piece of heaven that it's kind of part of a, it's part of a community but I'm my own person here I do my own things in my own property here and so for me I don't invite people I don't really click with to our place so every time I invite somebody over to come and pick up the goats uh, it's really I feel like I am overstepping a little bit in my own boundaries so this and my experiences before have been amazing but this was the one experience that I'm like gosh the only word that would come to my head was arrogant. You know, people that know better, that always know best. And that you just, not only that, but they make a point to make you feel like you're stupid. And again, you can be a crappy person and a wonderful goat owner. So they don't really have to go with each other. But I still wanted to share this story with you guys because I thought some of you would enjoy it and um, I would show you a, a side of owning goats that maybe um, not 
many people share but selling the babies it's a whole experience at least for me that I'm an introvert it really is a whole experience so I appreciate you being here today I appreciate if you would comment down below and share with me your most awkward selling a goat experience and I'm sure there's gonna be somebody out there that's gonna say I don't have an awkward experience everyone has been wonderful and all that but I'm also sure that there's still some people out there that sold goats that were like ah, hmm, that people were just a little weird and that's okay so if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe like this video if you enjoy this kind of content I'll talk to you guys next time <laughs> bye guys